there are definitely some things that we can do to maintain our privacy and to stop giving them our data because that's what it's all about. They want our data. They want to use our data against us. And they're extremely good at doing that. Welcome to Afani Features, and I have Glenn from the Privacy Academy. Welcome, Glenn, and thanks for joining us. Yeah, Glenn, thank you very much. And and why don't you start out by just doing a brief introduction of yourself, a little bit about your background, and yeah, and, yeah. So you know, I've been involved with privacy and teaching people how to be private for many, many years now. That's what we do, and I love it, and it's it's fantastic, and. I'm happy to talk more about it. So, yeah. Awesome. So Privacy Academy, before we get into what the Privacy Academy is, uh, can you talk about what made you want to create Privacy Academy? uh, Because it's it's a a really unique forum. And so I was just kind of wondering what uh, what was the motivating factor? Yeah. So, you know, we teach privacy. We teach privacy and security, how to be private and secure online. But we really focus on doing it for a purpose. And um, we really think that liberty is being under is under attack. And the main way it's under attack is through surveillance. And this is why they're doing the digital IDs. And so they're coming out with the child safety acts, which are all it's really a, a an online digital ID that follows you around. Um, and this is a globally coordinated effort. Um, I really, um, you know, going back, I, you know, Edward Snowden, when Edward Snowden revealed this, that really got me interested. But then COVID, when when COVID happened, I could see what was really going on with COVID, which was a globally coordinated effort to put in a surveillance state and really implement t- tyranny on us and against humanity. And so I thought it was very important to teach people what I know about privacy. And so that was the beginning of it. And we've, we've grown, grown, we've learned how to teach people. We have a whole team of people now. It's pretty fantastic. And uh, I think we do a great job. I think we're the best, the best online teachers about this subject that there is. I think, I think we do a fantastic job. Yeah. Between, uh, surveillance state the 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 intentional data collection between whether it's you know smartphones computers internet all of that um and then you add in all the data breaches i i you know i tell people that data privacy as a u.s citizen or really in a in half the world is gone like a our entire history is out there everything and uh takes probably 90 seconds for, for a hacker to, to get the information. So it's kind of a scary thing. Yeah. So, so what we do is we teach people, uh, there, there's different aspects of what we do, but uh, we have recorded lessons, pre-recorded lessons that you can take and follow and do on, at your own speed. And the way we do those is we have, um, we, we we focus on the most important things first, but we really, one of the most important things when you want to get private secure is you want to do it in a focused way that you don't get overwhelmed because there is a lot to know when it comes to private, be, becoming private and secure. So we just break everything down into bite-sized pieces. And we say, do this, now do this, now do this, now do this. Don't look at, all, at the big picture. Don't go watching all the YouTube videos and the, all the different sites and all that stuff, because you're going to get overwhelmed with it. I mean, I've seen this over and over where people just get overwhelmed and they say, I can't do this. It's too, there's too much stuff. I'm not tech enough to do it, but that's not true. They just did it the wrong way. They just, they, they tried to go in and just dive into it. You've got to just go methodically and just go piece by piece by piece. And that's what we do. So, the, so part of it is the pre-recorded lessons. But then we have the live training that goes with it. And so we have multiple live training sessions every week. We have, uh, on top of that, we have a pretty fantastic community of people that you can interact with. And these are freedom-loving people, privacy-oriented people. And we work together to 
spread the message of the importance of this issue. I, I think this is one of the single most important issues of our time is, is, is privacy because liberty absolutely requires privacy. And if you don't have privacy, you don't have liberty. And this is how the governments around the world are coordinating together to gain power over us. And that's what we, what we're trying to uh, teach people how to avoid, how to protect themselves, how to get the word out there to others, because we need to stop this for liberty's sake. If we don't do this, I believe that, you know, th there's going to be a new level of tyranny in the world and we're going to wake up one day and our, our liberty is gone. And it is happening. They're putting these pieces in place, the, 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 the pieces of the puzzle in place, and we have to wake up to this. And that's that's really what I feel my mission is. That's what our mission is. And, um, yeah, so I think what we're doing is very important for people. I, I will say, well, let me say one more last thing is <clears throat> what we talk about is kind of dark sometimes because of we talk about what the globalists want to accomplish. And their goals are dark, but that doesn't mean that 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 they're going to achieve those goals. I don't I don't believe in being black pilled. I don't think that it's hopeless or anything like that. There are definitely some things that we can do to maintain our privacy and to stop giving them our data because that's what it's all about. They want our data. They want to use our data against us. And they're extremely good at doing that. And so all we need to do is stop giving them our data. And so that's what we teach you how to do. Okay. So an example would be like VPNs, how to use them, maybe which ones to use or mobile service yeah, so, and a phone, things like that. Or is, or is it deeper than that? Yeah. Well, first of all, I would say it starts with um, just the way to think about this. And the way to think about it is you have to be aware of what's going on. Right. The um, but I mean, we do get down to nuts and bolts like the VPN. But, you know, I think VPN is a good example, because one of the things that is a little bit frustrating is you see these talk show hosts, they, they, they advertise a VPN and it's like, OK, this is the silver bullet that will make you private and secure. There is no silver bullet that will make you private and secure. Yes, VPN is a piece of the puzzle. But there's a lot of pieces of the puzzle that you have to put into place to make it work. And uh, yeah, so so use the right phone, the right operating system. You have to know how to uh, prevent bad apps from getting on your phone. You have to use the right carrier, uh, if any. And uh, you have to use, um, you know, we recommend that people move away from big tech computers like Apple and Microsoft, because those are turning into surveillance devices. They're putting AI on our computers now. Um, yeah. You know, Microsoft has Copilot on their computers now, which is AI that lives on your computer, takes a screenshot of your screen every second. The AI analyzes that and it learns about you. It learns about you by by doing that. And that's what AI is very good at is collecting information about you, learning about you, and then, you know, basically using your information against you. That's what that's what hackers do. That's what big tech does. That's what government does. Information is power. And when they have inf when they have information about you, they have power over you. Yeah, absolutely. Even like when you write a LinkedIn post, there's a little button there. It's like, would you like to rewrite this, you know, using AI? And it's like, yeah. I don't want to push that. Uh, just because it just seems like it would be another uh, data collection point. And so, you know, AI is, could be a whole nother topic by itself on things we need to worry about. Um, and so the, so the Privacy Academy, this is a, like a membership forum. This is something that, um, is there like some free content and then you can become a member for uh, the main content that people would really want? Yeah, I mean it's a it's a membership uh, it's a membership organization. You can join. It's forty nine dollars a month. That's all it is. Uh, you can cancel any time and just come on. You'll learn what you want to learn. If you want ever want to cancel, you can cancel. Um, but I think you're going to find that is extremely valuable. 
and you're going to love it when you join. You're going to love the community. You're going to le love learning all of this stuff. And people people get into it. They learn about this, and then they they just like, wow, I can't believe. First of all, I can't believe how they're surveilling us and how they're stealing, really deceptively stealing our liberty from us. But then there are some very simple steps that we can take to reclaim our liberty. And so we talk you through that. And uh, so that's primarily what we do. We also talk about the hackers and scammers side of things. Um, so so the, the three big threats are hackers, scammers, big tech, and big brother. And primarily we focus on big tech and big brother, but we talk about scammers a lot too. And so we just had a, a training today, actually just a few minutes before we um, are doing this. And we talked about scams and how to avoid scams. And it's a, you know, scammers are getting very, very sophisticated. You know, they've got tools now, AI, they've got deep fake uh, tools at their disposal. They're really good at what they do. And so it's important to be able to arm yourself with the knowledge and the, I would say the skepticism of dealing with different interfaces of how to how to avoid the scams, how to spot the scams, um, you know that type of thing. So, I think it is very important information. I think this is a skill set that everyone needs, especially in today's world. Yeah, the hackers, the AI is a whole, you know in a whole nother level of of hacking. There's uh, you know in the crypto space, there's weird things going on where people are getting these crypto hardware wallets sent to them and. And it looks exactly like the original packaging that you would yeah. order from the company. And it's like, well, I don't, you know, we, we've been breached and you move your crypto over here. And I, and when I saw that kind of hack, I'm thinking I have, now I have to worry about like my father and, and it's like, yeah. are they going to send, are they going to be sending ATM cards out to people and, and somehow getting people to go online to a certain website and enter in your, you know, your bank password and things like that. And, and so the 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 hacking side of it is going to be as bad as the the surveillance side of it, and so it's getting kind of scary. It, it is it is very bad, and and they do target elderly people, unfortunately. Yeah. I, you know, I have to worry about my father too, and they they definitely are very skilled at what they do. They're highly skilled at what they do, and. Um, so, yeah, there's definitely some skill sets that people need to know to protect themselves. Yep. Yeah, definitely. If you've got elderly parents and you're listening to this, you need to tell them about AI and and the what's what's out now with this new uh, VO3 or whatever it is from Google, where it's yeah. just amazingly accurate. And uh, I, during COVID, I actually spent time with my father and and helped my father and mother through a period of that time. And I was, I was amazed at how many times my father would get a call from somebody saying, claiming that they are one of his sons. And, uh, and yeah. like, man, that if, if they're doing this and now you've got AI and, you know, AI could learn like all of your siblings, cousins, everything, um, uh, routines about people and actually sound like a family member and, and be reciting like, Hey, did you, uh, you know, watch the, the bears game, you know, this weekend or something. Cause it, cause AI knows that they're a fan of, you know, the Chicago bears. And, and so this is going to get kind of scary, but, uh, uh, so I, I think that, that definitely the privacy Academy is going to hit a bullseye for people that are, you know, privacy and security conscious. And I, I would agree with you that a lot of people I talk to when I, when I tell them, the capabilities between hacking and surveillance. Um, a lot of people have no, had no idea what uh, yeah. data collection and what kind of, and what can be used for. And there are, and a lot of people are surprised. So um, forums like the, the privacy Academy are necessary. And so we'll, we'll put a link up here for a discount on a and it'll be in, in, we'll do it in the, the privacy Academy's name. And, uh, and then also um, we'll put a link up here on the, where people can go to to join the Privacy Academy or at least learn more about 
the Privacy Academy and, and then decide if they want to join. Uh, it, anything else that, that people should know about what the Privacy Academy is offering that maybe I just didn't ask you about or that we didn't that we didn't cover? Well, I think I think we covered it very briefly, just the importance of what we're doing, the importance of, of this. And, and I will say this, that this is how they are attacking our liberty. You know, we have a lot of freedom fighters out there. We have a lot of people that believe in freedom of speech, all of that stuff. But they are attacking our liberty by surveillance and locking it down. And they will you will see more and more stuff about digital IDs. Uh, they will have they will be in your face with digital IDs, but they will also have uh, kind of covert digital IDs, which is kind of like this AI that's on your computer watching you. It will be able to identify you and know who you are. Um, and so, you know, I think we've got to really take this very seriously and realize that we're in a position. And I think there's a window of time that we're going to be able to that we can possibly stop this, but there's only a small window of time. There's, there's, there's a pop, a window of time that we can stop this tyranny that is coming our way. And I think we must, if we want liberty for our children and our grandchildren, this is the time we have to start by getting private and secure ourselves, teaching people around us to get private and secure, and then spreading the word to enough people so that they can get private and secure and really become aware of this. We need to wake up and then put pressure on, you know, the, the politicians and also the free market. We need free market solutions. The, the free market responds if people want privacy. We have to tell the market that we want privacy. Then you get services like Kifani uh, that offer, you know, these secure and private solutions that's where you get solutions like Privacy Academy. So support us, support Ifani, support other privacy-oriented businesses, and yeah, get yourself private and secure. Awesome. All right. So if you're listening at this point, you definitely want to check out the Privacy Academy. And again, we'll we'll uh, add a link up to the top uh, that you can uh, learn more. And Glenn, I want to thank you very much for coming on. And congratulations on the success and growth of the Privacy Academy. And, and we certainly support what you guys are doing. Uh, or at least Thank me you. personally, I'm a big supporter of anyone out there that's trying to tell people, educate people about uh, uh, you know, data collection, surveillance, uh, hackers, and, and what's going on and what the threats are. Because a lot of people just are not aware. So uh, thanks for yeah. coming on. Appreciate it. Yeah. Thank you very much. Okay.